260 miles per hour, a high-speed game of chess. This is no ordinary super speedway. This is Cars Land Super Speedway. Welcome to round number six, ladies and gentlemen, of the Cars Land Cup Series here at Cars Land Super Speedway. The finale track later in the season. All bets are off when we get to the end of the season. But for today, it's a regular season race, race number six. Joining me on the booth will be Daniel Paulus as my co-com and Zach Wall through TV as production. To recap last week, let's go over to Zach. Zach, give us a little recap of last week and how the Birdman took it home in Phoenix. Yeah, so um, uh, Bird, he has started pole, led the whole race. Uh, there was really nothing other than uh, he just led the whole race, pretty much started pole. The package wasn't very great, admittedly, but we did our best with what we had. And uh, unfortunately, it it didn't end the way we wanted it to. But uh, Bird ended up winning, and he is currently one point ahead of Joy Paints' and standings. Uh, and that's all I got for that. All right, Zach, and real quick to Daniel, thoughts on things? Or was it pretty much what Zach summed up and what you're looking for here to Cars Land Super Speedway? Yeah, Phoenix, uh, when we saw Bird win, I thought it was special for him. He's been very strong there at Phoenix. And like I mentioned last week at Phoenix, it was a hard place to pass because of the dirty draft. But now that we're here at Cars Land Super Speedway, the one thing you're going to want to do is stay out of the big one and play it smart. And those are your keys to getting a victory lane. Thank you, Daniel. Real quick about Cars Land Super Speed, what we saw in practice to get the viewers up to speed. So we have someone with engine damage. That's just a little. 32. Yeah, let's go. Let's, let's go. XO right there. We'll have to watch mm. that at the start. But one thing we have to watch here at Cars Land Super Speed is we have extreme temperatures. I and mean, we're talking 110 degrees, 20 mile per hour winds of the southwest, which are warm. It's going to definitely affect the driver's physical conditioning and as well as the engine and motors. We could also see some mechanical failures, not just in the engine and motors, but maybe in the suspension and chassis. The, the parts will be pushed here at arguably one of the craziest tracks. Let's go with the live shot. Zach, kind of go through a live shot here, maybe a helicopter cam, of how big this track is for our viewers who don't know Cars Land Super Speed. Look, look at this. We're talking about 127 feet worth of racing room, 55 degrees of banking, and then you got like a, maybe a 20 degree, 30 degree bank front stretch. Extreme G loads. You get into a wreck here, as Daniel said, it's going to hurt. You're probably going to expire, retire from this race. And not to mention, we have a points lead that's higher than the track right now. Bird and Joy Paints, one point separate them. Laps led, there's basically nine. Nine laps led more to Bird, which was all thanks to Phoenix. And Joy Paints had that double double at the start of the year. I mean, we're talking mere one point, one position. If this was the finale, it would be basically a heads-up type deal. Uh, so the points battle would be something to watch. That's going to conclude really the pre-race here. There's not much to say. First time for myself watching this race, this track. So we're going to have a little bit of a different feel. But before we get to the green flag, let's go to the ones to watch. We'll start with Daniel. Daniel, give me a one to watch. Could be anybody tonight. Who do you think is going to make their charge to the front or stay up front? Yeah, the guy I'm going to want to watch is the 03. He was really fast in practice. And uh, I can't wait to see what he can do. Brandon's a very smart racer. And uh, yeah, I can't wait. Just got to stay out of the big one. But it's unpredictable unpredictable here so you never know all right zach real quick one to watch i have to say bradley ream he's been he's been at the most consistent he's been to switch to a new manufacturer starting off his new season really good with already two top fives one and almost three top tens and he's been very consistent a little rough patch in the past couple of races this is a super speedway good chance to refresh how you're doing uh, we'll have to see how he does today. I think he might uh, pull out the win today if he's able to keep it clean and uh, get maneuver the way, uh, maneuver whatever way is successful. I'm going to go real quick. I'm going to go Evan H. Evan H., I mean, he was your big defending champion last year. And he's in the points where he's around 25th through 30th. I don't think he wants to be there. I think this is his chance to make the move tonight, or excuse me, today, make a big run in points, maybe get a top five. And if he can go for the win, he can go for the win. But I think he needs to start turning the season around to defend that number one plate, even though he doesn't have it. Let's go to the green flag in 3, 2, 1, command. Drivers, start your engines! All right, the command has been given. This is a 260-mile-per-hour throw ride. Higher wear could be up to two to three seconds if we do not see a caution. 
fuel strategy. We'll see. We know fuel and tires can be. Oh, we have someone blowing up. That's Excel. That is Excel. Yeah, we thought about this. Yeah, we're not going to be able to start this first. Yeah, we already talked about that it. That is going to cost him they overdid it in, in the playoffs. Yeah, they overdid oh. it already. So we could see this from a lot of guys, and that could cause some yellows, depending on what the game thinks. We'll yeah, I remember, we're, we're, talking, we're talking temperatures of about 300 degrees, maybe 400 degrees in that engine component with the, with the track. The track temperature is around 160, even though you can't see. That pace car makes an interesting... Uh, right hand turn, I believe. Right, right, right hand turn. It's a counterclockwise track, uh, which means you'll see everything from the right. Pit row will be different, similar to Orlando's Super Speedway as a similar track. Painting, excuse me, pitting. There's the restart zone. It's huge. There's the grass. They just missed the grass. Restart zone is ready. It's going to be Ziva leading us down, and we're green flag racing here. The cars land Super Speedway. Just a little nugget to start off here. Uh, Evan H. Uh, his one driver. Slash teammate is Zevil, and he's the only uh, pure motorsports driver other than Evan H in the field. Yeah, Evan H back in 20th or so, 25th, I believe, in points, about 30th in the start. But right now, Zevil taking the lead, going to block the extreme inside lane. There's no lanes here. It's really extreme inside to extreme outside. And then there's the middle where they Constantine up. It's three wide at the front. We'll go to Daniel with backstretch coverage. Yeah, one driver I want to focus, focus right now on is the 03 of Brandon. You see him already. He's inside the top 10. Look at him on that inside line behind the 82 there as he's giving him a little push. But he's making his way up to the front, and that's where you want to be so you can say all the big one. Yeah, yeah you don't right want now. to push your his draft. That's what I recommend. Yeah, I really, really didn't want to cut you off. There's that right now. It's just about minding your P's and Q's. I don't think it's all about going for it. And with tire wear 55 seconds, since that doesn't really matter, the second lap will tell you what the laps will be. But after that, I would say fourth lap, you're probably done. Uh, I don't believe there's going to be a quicker lap than that. Your tire wear is going to start cooking. There's Zach's one to watch. Bradley Ream to the front. Look at that. And Bradley Reams started back there in the mid-packs, already in the top five. He's looking for a good run, pretty consistent behind Nada Weeb. We saw Nada Weeb last week at Phoenix. I mean, he was trying, uh, but he never got done with Bird. I believe someone else. I think it might have been Stover. I, mean, I can't remember, but one of, the, one of those guys was up there. I remember Weeb was in third. So he's looking to make a big run tonight. Drummer check back there. As we come to lap number three, watch the lap time increase. Boom, five seconds faster. That's just normal, and I don't think the laps are going to be much faster than this. Maybe one or two more laps faster, but after that, tire will kick in as we look slow. Back to Daniel. Yeah, as you see the 48 taking the lead there. 81 of drummer check in second there as he's going on the outside of 48. But look at that 44. They have really strong draft here, so we're going to have a lot of lead changes here. Yeah, 44 of Lethal Moore. He's looking at Lethally Moore in the track tonight that they call Cars Land Super Speedway. Excuse me, today. As Jonah Burge is looking underneath, possibly. A little side draft there, and he will get underneath on an extreme inside. As you can see, Zach, as he said in practice, look at the separation of the pack. We're starting to see it already. It's a little four wide back there. We can go 27 wide here, but realistically, I think five and six wide is the most we can do tonight. Excuse me, today. I keep saying tonight, but we're recording tonight. Today, we're most likely going to see six wide the most as Tyra wears off. Jacob Shangles looking for second as he stays pretty coarse. Four car underneath. Looking for the look at that big run by the four. That's McClure. What a runny guy. Just tells you it's important to use the side draft here, especially at speeds of almost 250. You know what? With the warmer temperatures, I don't think we're going to see 260. I think 240. 245 will be your limit tonight. Today. Excuse me. It's your day. And I think it's... Oh! The 66 nearly goes into the four. Old side draft gone wrong. 66 blocking up high. Let's go spider can. This is a perfect time to go spider can with... Yeah, oh, we got a caution. Talking. We got a caution. Oh, we got to be careful on the... Uh, mine been 54. Nope. That's Evan H. I think it's Evan H. Yep. That one to watch. Well, that did not happen. Let's see what happened to Evan H. Might have just been a single car accident here. <clears throat> nope, nope. No. Um, 
No, they just Why? gathered up in the front stretch. Yeah, five wide got wrong here. Might have been a rookie mistake by the 86 right in front of the 13. Oh, no, the 11 got into the 13. Oh, uh, yeah, he just 18. got squeezed. Yeah. Again, also, uh, can't take the blame off the 86 either. I mean, you really Evan. can't take the blame off of oh. anybody yet. It's just hard hard racing there. Yeah. To brick the 13. Yeah, that's going to probably do it for the 86, 13, and Evan H. Uh, they will not be continuing in this race, even. Because uh, this race is uh, very strict on disqualifications, because uh, if you have any bit of damage, you're going to be set for failure, so... Yeah, uh, leader at the yellow, I believe, was uh, 64. Might have been 66. Uh, Shangle. Let's see. Uh, no, it is Anthony McClure in the set in the four. That's the uh, uh, doing pace car. Poster. All right. Had had issues with the pace car before. Looks a lot, I think. They're doing what they're supposed to. Yeah, it looks like they are. It's good. It's good. Yeah, double file restarts will be interesting here. Evan H is retired. We're going to see the 13, the 86. Styles should be done as well. Yeah, they're both going to be out of the race. I'm going to have to DQ them. Yeah, there's no way you're coming back from damage 26 tonight. 26 might be pitting for, uh, we'll have to see what the game tells them, but 26 might be pitting. We'll keep him out. We'll keep tires. him out. I'll uh, see, but yeah, 13, 26. Yeah, he's just getting feeling tired. Very good call by the 26. Salamander, yeah. Good winning call. Because we may not see another pit stop here. Because uh, yeah, based on, I don't think we're going to see uh, green flag pit stops. So yeah, 86, 13, and 11 have called it a day. So we will not be having to DQ them. Yeah, with fresh tires, I think you can get six extra laps of fresh tires compared to your field. That's that's just going to help you when we get to lap 45. And cautions, I don't know if we'll be done with cautions, but we could see a couple more, maybe one or two. I think it's going to be a little bit harder with cautions. The tires wear while our first old tire restart. I think the restart zone is so big, there's really no inside or outside lane advantage. It's just who has the better re reaction time. We'll find out. But let's go for a top 10 rundown. Then we're going to call a pace lap in. Zach, give us a top 10 rundown. All right. Right now in first place is uh, Anthony McClure just in uh, his second race of the season. Ran a few part-time races last year. Doesn't look like, uh, again, he's just stealing points from everyone else because part-time drivers are ineligible for points. Two teammates in second and third. That's Jacob Shangle and Roach. Um, both Roach racing cars, the only Roach racing cars in the field. Um, then in fourth place is Zion. Uh, currently has the most poles this season and is a 2017 champion. Fifth place is a two real gaming freak. He won at Auto Club. Got his first one there. Fifth place is the 21 Robert Crown Jr. We got two wins last year. Looking to get a good go in here. Lethal Warner currently last place in standings. Hoping to rebound from that. And here, let me pace minus real quick. Okay. Get the pace car that way, I can tell. But, uh, yeah, and uh, then right after that is the 51 Yoiko. Yeah, pace car is good. Um, and then 50, uh, 51 Yoiko got second place, Old Spice, can get some statistics going. And then Pulse Sitter, um, 45 is level. He's trying to recover, might get that lead back. Then 8 age right behind him, who won the Old Spice. So, uh, they're looking to get some consistency going. But Anthony McClure, the I was running part-time driver. He's just stealing points from everyone else and making himself look good for his possible uh, CCS rookie campaign for next season. So that's your top 10. Thank you, Zach, for that recap. This is going to be one of our first restarts here. What do you do if you're Anthony McClure? Do you know how to even restart? Because this is a track that really requires technicality of when you go. You can go in the middle of the restart zone and time it just right. You can go early. Surprise, we can go late and back the pack up and have a Constantine effect. He's going to choose. All right, again, this is a clockwise track, so Inside the line, leader right, right. goes to the left of the track. Right, right, right. Just good, good, good catch there. I don't know, man. I think this is one of those restarts where you might want to lag back here. We'll go in the middle. 
and we'll find out. We're gonna get come. We're going to come to the lap eight here. We have to watch Gar Salamander. He's got those fresh tires. He might be the fastest off the jump in the back. He's probably going to be in forty third. Yeah, right, right around there, forty second, forty yep. third. So he, he'll see what he can do. We'll see how far he can make his way up to the field. But it's gonna be Anthony McClure coming to that big restart zone. He crosses the rainbow zone and he's ready to go. We're back to green flag racing here at Carsland Super Speedway. Really good start. Oh, 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 82. Contact. It's Game and Freak. Huge. That's a caution. Oh, man. He caution. collected the 21 as well. 21 hits the inside wall. The caution's out. That is a caution. We have a. Oh, we got a massive one. That's a massive one. Yeah, it's going to take out a lot of guys. Oh, he, he lost his uh, fender there. In that oh, one. man. He came Hard right in front of the hole inside. Let's he take a replay order. here. Yep, take a replay. It was just like Lethal Mortal Mortar just tried to kill the man and go My straight clock. Right to the 21 yeah, there. We, we talked about the restarts. We, we talked about restarts and, and doing this kind of shenanigans after Old Spice. You can't do that, and that's a definite black flag for no reason. There was no reason for that wreck. Lethal Mortar is done for the night. Well, and yeah, one thing I want to point out there. Oh, 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 my. Bobby Isaac. Oh, man. somebody's upside down. Who turned Bobby? Once again, it's... Oh, oh we I got more wrecking. Dripsy. Oh, I checked up the field. <laughs> it looks like two wrecks. Like we're going to have to no, we, we have... We're going to have to black flag the 6 and the 44. If they do it again, it's a DQ. Oh, my gosh. Bobby Isaac takes a while. Oh, or he's going for it. Tumbling. Yeah, everybody involved in this wreck is going to have to be DQ due to the damage protocol. Yeah, damage protocol. And Everyone's there's get... one thing I want to point out to you guys. <laughs> Um, we have a third the, wreck here, Ricky Freeman Jr. and Drips. What is going on? Stacked up the field, and everyone got, everyone was trying to avoid it, and then it stacked up the field. Yeah, yeah there's really, you can't blame Drips or Ricky. That's just unfortunate timing. I, I think this is pro part of the product here is uh, restart zone. When do you go in the restart zone? Makes a big difference. I just had mentioned that. All That's right, what it appears. So Jonah's your leader after that. I'll have to go through and And one thing I want to point out guys is do you really want to start in the inside lane? Because if there's a wreck on the outside, there's a really good chance they're gonna come down on the inside and hit you. So right. do you wanna take the gamble and go on the inside or do you wanna stay on the outside? I don't know. That's a good question right now. I think the officials are going to probably send a warning to all these crew chiefs. We're done with the restart shenanigans because that's uh, that's that's, that's call, that, that has all caused these guys if they don't if they do continue. But I think most of them are going to call it. Not to interrupt anybody here, but Salamander pits again. Uh, he actually got a little bit. Yeah, I'm not sure if he, he even got. I think he got involved in that. Might have to. Oh no. Oh man, that was oh man. Scary lag there. Yeah, it's a um, lag spike here. Yeah, that's scaring me, man. It's like trying to crush my game. Yeah, it's I'm not sure what it is. Let's see if it'll still we'll see if it'll uh fizzle out. I hope it don't crush our game here. If we if it does we'll have to do a different track, but uh let these uh, pit stops go through. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was, uh, just trying to figure out when the graphic... Uh... Or make sure pace cure is good. So, I think the lag figured itself out. So, we're going to have to DQ... 67 he's got damage we're gonna have to take out salamander he's a he was involved in that so no leniency there i think the lag fixed itself hoping it doesn't happen again or we have to do it to the five too he's got damage so from the 599 we'll have to give another lap of caution to give these guys time to Get to pit road. 
I'm gonna go and DQ the six because he's got damage. Yeah, we're doing a little little uh, janitor work here, as I like to say. Race control. That was interesting. Not sure what that was. Again, this track's got glitches and stuff. I'm not sure. Cutting the lawn there. <laughs> All right. So the recap here is that I think the biggest thing now is we can't just watch the the leaders. Uh, we, we have to watch. We got to watch the whole pack because we start seeing shenanigans on the game. The uh, 44 has been warned. The six has been warned. I mean, six is already done for the day. He got damage. 44 still in it. Uh, yeah, he's still in it, but if he causes anything else, that's a DQ. We might have to put him at the ELOL. We might have to ELOL him, put him at the back of the field. I already black flagged yeah. him, so he probably black flagged him again. Yeah, he needs to go to the back now, because we're about to go back to green here. There's no need for a top 10. Uh... Okay, he's already serving it, so he'll probably go to the back once we get the pace going. So we'll pace minus at the at the at the line here. Well, actually, I think I can do it right now. Well, no, I don't want to risk it. That'd be a battery start. So we'll. So uh, and it started off unexpectedly crazy, but a uh, big one takes out most of the field. We only got a uh, thirty-one left racing. This is a yeah. good lap sled for Jonah, and uh, was some good laps for Gaming Freak, but unfortunately, he got the he. Uh, he got right there, so uh, I think he was leading it prior. To and now to there's one no, driver. Sorry, yes, Daniel. Daniel. There's one driver that was catching my mind here in these last few laps was the 121 car. He didn't start up front, and now he's in the front and he's controlling this field. Do you guys think he could be a threat for this finish here? Well, a couple things, Daniel. One. Unfortunately, the finish is 40, 50 laps away. <laughs> uh, he's got to be scrutinized heavy. Now as the restart leader. I don't know. He, he might. He makes one wrong move and checks up the field. Race controls on him. I, I think Zach. I think you can agree with me. You don't want to be the leader right now. I don't. I don't think you even want to be in the top five. You want to be maybe in the back. I think I'd rather be in the back, believe it or not, because the wrecks seem to be happening at the front. <laughs> like the pace car already went in manually. Did what I wanted it to, yeah, so it's good. Yeah, and there's one other driver I want to point out is the 66 Roach. Now, he's been very aggressive on these restarts, and I'm afraid he's going to cause a wreck here. And if he does, race control is going to penalize him pretty good. Might have to black this 44 if he don't do what he's supposed to. Yeah, 44 is not doing what he's supposed to. That's going to be an uh, automatic DQ if he does not do what he's supposed to do on this restart. Now, unless he's coming down pit road the next lap, that's all I can think of after the restart. Yeah, well, but we'll watch that. He says he's already serving one, so we'll see what uh, see what the game says. If he doesn't come back by, by the first lap of a restart, he'll be automatically DQ'd. We'll watch the 44 liter mortar. He tried to take the whole field out of more than everybody tonight today. But Jonah Burridge will lead to the, the green. It's just. Uh, what do you do? NH? I mean, NH is in second. It's a new player in the mix. Stover in third. Zion in fourth. I don't know. Jonah Burge has to be careful. He's getting scrutinized. Does he go early? We'll find out. If I'm him, I think the best place to go is in the middle. Leave it perfect. Don't try to go crazy. You see, if you time it too early, I think it, it can get really hectic. And if you go too late, we saw what just happened. So we'll, we'll, have, to find, we'll have to find out. Yeah, and on these research, you don't want to check up the field. That is your number one goal, not to check up the field. Yeah, and that causes a wreck. That's what happened on the last restart. We've seen a lot of guys trying to avoid that first wreck, and Iron was really getting the, getting the memo, and that it just made it even bigger, and that took out a lot more guys. Here we go, boys. This is going to be one of the most scrutinized restarts of the season so far, considering Old Spice was already pretty scrutinized. What does Jonah Burge do as we enter the Rainbow Restart Zone? He accelerates earlier than expected compared to the last restart. Let's see if that helps separate the field or will it cause another one. We're green flag again. Everyone real oh, and it happened. We again. got a big one. We got a big one. Oh, this is this is this is not good. Let's see who's involved that, that here. Was, oh, it's oh Who was that? We, we can't tolerate this anymore. We're going to have to uh, 
That's quadruped. That's a DQ. I, I think that's yeah. we've seen enough. We see enough to DQ. It looks one, like he three. just hooked him. It looks like he just hooked Austin right in the yeah. we, 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 well, we've seen enough. We've seen enough. Let's see here. Then, yeah, yeah, there's no excuse him. there. Drummer check avoids fireball. Oh, man. So they had nowhere up. to go. They did check up, but I don't think anyone else wrecked. I yeah, well, we, uh, we see enough here, folks. That's going to be a DQ for the one quadruped. We can't keep having these incidents, at, especially after a clean start. I mean, I these guys were warned. 44 did go to pit road. I did see him briefly down there. So Let's just check the 44. He will be clear, and he'll be okay to run the rest of this race. As you can see, the smoke. But yeah, I do believe he did come to pit road after that. Yeah, he's... Again, no, I don't think he did. Never mind. Good. Okay. All right. To me, it looks like the field checked up right here. Well, this is, uh, this, they're coming to pacing, so. Oh, 44 DQ'd? Yep, we're going to DQ him. He didn't come to pit road. Oh, he did not come. Oh, that's, that's, that's. Yeah, I thought it, it worked in that practice we did, but it didn't work here. So, Dana Pauls Jr. is your new leader. Daniel Paul is cheater from nowhere as uh, Jonah Burge. Uh, all right. Game may get crashier with all these cars trying to come pit roads. So we'll keep a very close eye on that. So I won't mess with the uh, game much while these guys are coming in. But, uh, yeah, it looks like uh, 18 a bird right now in second. He uh, won last race, so he may try to go back to back here again. Still really early in the event, we're just we're just killing off these caution laps to uh, get everything figured out. Someone's down there, yeah. Let's we'll see what's up. Was it the? Uh, I guess they figured it out. Oh well. I am concerned from ninety one. He did get in the wall there, but it doesn't look like he has any damage. So. We're gonna give him. We're gonna give him two laps to make sure he's up to speed. We'll give him two laps. He's yeah, you got some damage there, but we'll, you didn't have to pit, so. Recap, we've had three, three, three massive incidents, actually five separate incidents to cause big ones. We have 26 remaining with the uh, three is not coming back in this race. That is. Yeah, the 328, nor is the. Uh, nine, nine's gone. Yeah, nine. Fireball's he's, gone. Yeah, he's going to have to. Uh, yeah, no, come on, that's. I mean, you got a lot of damage left side. That's that's it. You're you're done. The three is out of the pits. That he's got to go to. <laughs> is he out of the pits or out of the race? Yeah, he's out of the pits. Yeah, no, 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 I no, mean no. these these drivers are being too aggressive on these restarts. Yeah, Br Br Bradley Ream it appears is also trying to get back on the track. And we, once again, we've warned these guys. You get damage. We're not tolerating it tonight, especially with the restarts. Six is already on a short lease, which is already retired. Forty-four was on a short lease that retired, but yeah, one twenty-one. Yeah. Jonah Birch is also on a short lease in a way. Um, yeah, I don't think he a little bit with the rest. He didn't cause anything, but he went. Uh, he, I think he almost too. He went so he went so indecisive. He shockwaved the field, which yeah. we we'll have to watch. We're just gonna watch if the leader starts going shockwavy. If they don't pick a perfect line to go, it seems like the field is stacked. So we'll have to watch it. Paulus Jr. is now in the chair of doom, <laughs> possibly. We'll it's find out. Doom. It's out of doom. All right, we're good. I think we're clean. Uh, no yeah. need for a top 10 rundown because most of the top 10 other than Jonah is con. So we'll yeah, see if we can get a clean lap. We're going to have to. Yeah, hopefully. we got a clean start. I think it lasts about five laps. And then uh, the 86 decided to ruin it. We, I think we would have had all the way green if it wasn't for that. But unfortunately, yeah, they're going to have to figure it out sooner or later. If not, there are going to be more crashed cars and it's going to be a real long race. All right. I think we're good. We're going to call this one green. All right. I was expecting the pace card. But all right. Oh, snap. We did it too early. Wait, no. No, we didn't. All right, then. So, what do you think's gonna happen on this restart? Well, I mean, you're Daniel Paulus here. You got you got to the winner of last week. Let's be honest. Bird does not really care about uh, at this point with 26 cars in the field. Bird doesn't really care about finishing second. I think it's about winning now. You know, this might be your only chance to win for some people. I mean, I, I know it's not realistic, but at a place like this, when you know the field is shrinking, the whole game changes. 
seems like the front two guys are safe. It's just third on back. A wreck could be possible. I think if I'm Paulson Burr, I play it safe here. If I'm Drummer Chick, I also play it safe. So when we get to around 12th on back, I think the or Thrasher is 10th on back even. That's when they start jumping out of line. I'll have to watch that. Let's try to go to a different shot, too, on the restart. Let's try to capture everything. Maybe a helicopter. I don't know. Let's see. We'll try, we'll try TV, too, this time. Yeah, let's try to get everything here. we we, we got to make these calls quicker as well. But it's going to be Daniel Paulus Jr. and Bird Drummer Chick, your top three, your podium right now. How about Cody Forge? Wow, I think he had a little damage, but he's kept pace. Interesting. And practically, you know, Cody Forge did not have him. He had, he had a big practice wreck, and he's overcoming that. Let's see what happens right here. Let's see where they're going in the restart zone. What does Paulus do? I think he's got to think here, I'm going to go early. There's no point to go late, and obviously there's issues with going in the middle for sure. Daniel, I want you to take this restart, buddy. <laughs> Even though I'm driving, I'll gladly take this restart. All right, so I'm going to come out of turn four. We're going to come down the front straight away. I'm in second gear right now. I do not want to check up the field. I'm listening to my spotter and crew chief. And right now, we are heading down the front straightaway, heading towards the restart zone. And we just crossed the restart zone. Now I'm going to start gearing up. We're going to head up through the gears. And I'm going to try not to check up this field. I'm going to want to stay high. As I see Drummer Chick in my mirror on the inside. He's going to stay behind me now. I do not have room to go down low. So I'm going to stay high as we hand the turn one. All right, looks pretty good. Let's see if we get a clean start. Like we did. All right. Yeah, so that's definitely... That was just leaders playing games. You can see the pack is now dwindled to 26 and I believe, no, I think everyone with damage is clear too. I don't think we yep. have anyone. If squid's good. Squid's good. If he starts really falling off, let's say 220 and they're doing 245, then he is falling off a little bit. We'll have to watch that as the I race goes up. Joy, Joy Paints at the end of the pack. It's just squid. Yeah, now he is falling back a little bit. But... Oh, there's Joy Paints. Let's see Paints. What happened to Paints? I don't think Paints has any damage. He had, had a bad restart probably. Again, this okay. one's going to start filing out, so he's probably might go single file as the race goes on. And we may see why. If this goes as long, if tire fall off is as big as it might be, so no one's pitted, uh, we could see green. We could see uh, could see cars go lap down. I don't think we're going to see Gar Salamander pit again. I think he made the running call. If, if we go green all the way, that's a great right. call. Where is Gar Salamander? Gar Salamander, uh, he got involved in the right. Oh, that's right. He retires. So that strategy was all for not. So it's Anthony McClure who seems to have the strong car. Same with NH. They seem to be the top two. In terms of raw pace, usually that's Frank Schillen's honor. But he's not in this series. So it's Anthony McClure looking to take that raw pace home tonight. Let's see if he can do it. Cody Ford's looking for second. Ford, we talked about Cody having that accident in practice, looking to rebound. He's looking really good on the inside line, getting a lot of traction. Now, we've been through a couple of heat cycles, boys, and I think when the heat cycles, the tires cool off a little bit, even though it is 107, 108 degrees today, that actually might help with the heat cycles, and it gives drivers a chance to just catch their breath here. Uh, even though it might be a little hot under caution, it gives some it gives some equal chances for the tires and the, the suspension parts on the, underneath the diffuser to cool and help create downforce under caution. But the lap times actually are not as bad with the cautions. We have not hit a second fall off in 20 laps. Spec lap 26 to 27 to hit that second fall off. Let's go to Daniel with some more coverage. Yeah, guys, as you see, the 17 part time driver trying to get his win here at Super Speedway. As he's on the inside of the four, he is clear. He will take the lead away. And one thing I want to point out is uh, during that restart, when I started that uh, restart, I saw the drivers were not so aggressive. Uh, I think they learned their lesson from the previous restarts. And this is good racing so far. No wrecks, and we're staying clean here. As you see Jonah try and take the lead on the inside of the 17. You got to think here, Jonah Birds. I mean, he, you got to think about this. Jonah Birds went from 20, first to 22nd, 22nd to first in, what was that, two and a half laps? Not even. Uh, I think we're going to see the, the, the cream rise to the top in this situation. And when the cream rises to the top, you got to think, what is that crew chief cooking up? Are they looking for more straightaway speed? Are they looking for it towards the end of the run to use the tire wear and go lower, help the acceleration, and actually have less straightaway speed? Because usually when you have more straightaway speed within this draft, you kill your tires, less straightaway speed helps the long run. But in the short run, straightaway speed matters. You see Anthony McClure and Forge will battle it out. Look at that outside run, that extreme outside run. Again, nice run to the top. 
Let's go on board with Anthony McClure. Let's do it. I want to see a lap around here from Anthony McClure's perspective, and we'll go through a spire cam as well. Obviously, flat out pretty much. A little bit of banking you can see on the inside. Just look how far the inside gets, but watch this outside run coming. Drummer check as well. Watch this. Look at the closing distance on this. I know it's the back stretch, but look at the closing. You can see just closing distance is pretty crazy around here. Even though they're not catching up due to the tire wear, it's pretty good for a closing distance. Now, Forge. Oh, wow. It just shows you. You go too high. Actually, oh my god, he's in like the seventh lane. You go, you go so high on the last lap, you can lose 15 spots, Zach. Amazing, amazing right there. Yeah, and these guys really just capitalizing on the bottom pretty much. That was definitely the preferred lane, unless you're cons being um, what, Oh! Cool. What happened? Wow, that was a close call. seven got real close to the 81 there. Real close. Yeah, they said they'd race close. But... Yeah, and that's the one thing you talked about, Vince, is if you go too high, you could lose 15 positions here. But the outside is good for getting good runs. But the inside, for the turns... You're uh, stretching out the lead, so that's your difference between outside and inside lane here. Yeah, Cody Forge. I mean, you, you would just look at the is that Shibo and Yuki or Yuki Shibo Yuki and the uh, Yuko Yuko. I can't say that uh, Yuko. Like, uh, Chef Squid. He's he's uh, fallen fallen to a degree where he cannot recover. He's eight, no, he's, he's uh, done. Yeah. He's, oh, and they're wrecking. Oh, oh we, man, oh, we got a one. massive one. Another oh, massive man. one. man, let's see. That's up front. That's drummer chick. That's McClure. Oh, my goodness. That's a big oh, one up man. front. Oh, Half I the think field I got is him. gone. Half the field is gone. Yeah, I Maybe couldn't believe this Survival of the fittest. This is going to be a... We've now entered survival of the I think the heat's getting to these guys now. What happened? McClure... Oh, that's just dumb. Oh, by, yeah. that's, just, that's just dumb on Weeb. I mean, he came up and... Oh, just big yeah. check the guys. Oh, I, yeah, oh, right oh, back. Yeah, anyway, it's Dover, Pulse Sitter, Jessica. Oh, man. Jordan, 24. Boys, it. Nine. Nine hits a little bit. A I, little I got cut. through, I guys. I got okay, through that one. But, okay, <laughs> we'll ignore that. Anyway, uh, Chef Squid uh, might get lucky here and gain a couple spots due to the caution. No, nah, he's uh, he was out of the race. Oh, you got it. Okay, good. Because these guys all got to get DQ as well, who had a problem there. Yep. Uh, again, we'll have to make sure they pick, get their stuff over with. Most of them probably out of the race, but we'll double check. 17, I think, was a, it's a divide, dividing between those guys. So Yeah, you guys should go on board with uh, my car. You should see the how close I was. Go on board 22. Yeah, let's right. do it. Man, that was okay. You might actually got involved there. Let me check that again. If there is damage, we'll have to look at that closely. Yeah, it looks it, like it's really is. close, guys. I I really don't know. Yeah, it's really oh yeah, there the it is. Oh, that's the, and that's the here. worst side too. You don't want to get hit on the left. At least the right, you're turning in. The left side just going to hurt your arrow right here. Yeah, oh yeah, a little yeah, look after. I, it was close, guys. There was nowhere I could go. Yeah, we're gonna have to. We we'll have to. We we'll have to put you on the chef squid clock. <laughs> and the yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll It'll put him nice. on the chef squid clock. We'll give him three or four laps. If he doesn't meet minimum speed, yeah, it's over. McClure is done. Everyone else is done for sure. as well. Surprise! Forty eight still on it. Oh wait, they're coming to pit road anyway. So we'll, we'll let him finish this out then that way it don't look bad on their standings but yeah most of these guys probably gonna call it here oh we have green flag pit stops as well oh salamander if he was in this race would have been crazy with the strats but unfortunately it was a gg yeah, for he, him he early. Just, yeah he was too damaged to in that last run all right see the battle off pit road looks like it's gonna be oh bird <laughs> bird gets out. Yo, bird went free bird right there. Free bird. No cares given. <laughs> He's talk like, about, talk he, about he got wings the, today. Man, talk about stealing the win off pit road. 
That's uh, worth the come out and got it. It was, it was real close. We'll have to take a look at that. I think the commitment. Yeah, we should get a replay on that. Should be approximate. Yeah, now, one thing's close. for sure. One thing's for sure. Bird got everything. He was worth it on that pit stop. Let's see here. Look how close this was. Oh, no, man. he beat him out. He just flew 140, accelerating quicker. There's no really crazy pit road speed limits. Yeah, speed limit's pretty low. Because he's now, I, I think if the 51 finished maybe five seconds earlier, he could have had a chance. But yeah, I think asphalt starts is where the pit road ends. Yoiko will be second. Oh, it's just weird. I guess, uh... Huh. Thought, uh... Okay. Well, maybe he did get lucky, I guess. Thought I'd cute him. Is Squid in the lead? He might not have... Okay, no, he hasn't came serve his, uh... He's not DQ DQ'd. <laughs> he'll be getting... Yeah, he'll be getting the DQ. Yeah, he's serving it right now. Everyone got DQ'd, right, Zach? Just to confirm. Gotta make sure the we'll go back to uh let's see, that last wreck. Who I missed? I know I missed a couple guys because they're coming to pit road. Let's see, let's see, eighty nine, forty eight. We're missing the four. Unfortunate too. He was doing really well, but four is done. Yeah, to eighty, it looks like they're gonna call it. Okay, we're gonna have to do that. I think Jeff. We'll look at his damn. We'll get, we'll put him on the clock. I don't think he got much damage from that. Unfortunate though. Hey, we have to implement this, but it's just too risky. This track's so big. Yeah, four's got quite a bit of damage. Forty-two. Put him. Put him on the clock. Have to DQ him under green. But uh, go ahead and uh, pace minus here. All right, let's go for a top ten rundown, Zach, real quick after those pit stops. Real quick. All right, looks like uh, 18 of Bird. Third place is Yoiko. Or, no, second place is Yoiko. Third place, Jonah Burge. Fourth is the 60 of Cody Forge. Fifth is the 40 of Cazzo. Ninth, er, sixth is Martin Thurston. Third, seventh, Troy Paints. Eighth is the 23rd in Lexi Gaming. Ninth is Roach. And tenth is Jacob Shanklin. All right, that's the top 10 recap by Zach. Uh, real quick, Daniel, I'm going to take this restart, but what do you think here? What do you do if you're burned? Now you're in the hot chair. What do you do? And Daniel? Daniel's having some technical audio. Can you hear him, Zach? Uh, briefly, but I didn't hear anything he said. All right, so I'll take this restart. Daniel must be having some issues there. Bird is going to lead us to the green here. And he hasn't been in this position yet. I think if I'm Bird, I go, you know what? Believe it or not, I go early as the pace car makes the right hand turn. Will he go early? Will Yoiko try to go a little early and play some games? Does Cody Ford give a little push on the inside? We know the outside's got the momentum through the natural banking. Here we go. Coming to the rainbow restart zone at Cars Land Super Speedway. They're in the zone. Does he go now? He hits the gas. Bird goes early. We're green. Pretty good start. Oh, getting close there. Paints in the 66. They keep it clean. Yeah, watch it. Yeah, I think there's less than 20 cars in the field now. I did so. Yeah, Look at that. 18. Yeah, we're, we're, we have we have minimized the field. The field is depleted. Uh, believe it or not, though, crazy to think about this, Zach. The two points leaders are right there. Heard and Paints are literally hey. neck and neck. Is, uh, I'm so this is only going to clean points lead, too. Yeah, we'll have to give Paul some time. Usually the restart's not a problem because everyone's running a slower speed. It's just when you start getting really up to speed, that's the question. Bird's going to stay on the outside of Bird. That's not a bad thing as, just, as they start to fail. What a move by Paints. Well, those guys are really slowing up here. Oh, we got a wreck. oh, oh spare. Turn four. That, what is going on here? That's well, a wreck. That's a caution. I'm not sure why they were slowing up. They're slowing up. So it's someone in the grass. Dice seven. It's a seven. Someone yeah, in the grass. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, man. Cody oh, Forge. Oh. Is that Bird? bird? Is that Bird? What did Bird do? Why? I think, uh, why? He might have 
something might have happened. I'm not might have been a mechanical failure. It's my guess. Someone had a mechanical. It wasn't. It wasn't Daniel. No, Daniel? I think it was. I mean, Daniel was slowing up, but he didn't have enough time it, to. It, it get was any... the yellow car. It was that yellow. I think. It was a, yep, that was NH. I'm not sure what they were doing. Seven slowed up a ton. I think oh, NH man. thought he had a penalty for some reason. Oh, Bird just. Oh, he got a little damage. <laughs> oh, man. He's he outside got... now. Oh, Went to the oh. catch fence. Oh, he's, he's definitely done for tonight. 18 may have had a mechanical failure. And 18. And... Yes. Uh, probably had a restart. It's just weird, violation. guys. So it's it's hard to call. Restart. Well, let's I go back we... to the restart now and see where the 17 is. Let's go back to that restart. Now we have to go see why and we'll have to see who the cause of that was. Oh, we cannot okay. see. We have to go on board with the 17. Let's see. Right, run so it back a little is... bit, Zach. Let's run it back a little bit. All right, so... Might have been some kind of penalty. Maybe they didn't pit. Maybe they playing strategy. Uh, if anything, the 66 should have more of a penalty than the 17. He went uh, really early underneath paint, so 66 should be getting the black, though. too. No one did anything out of ordinary on that well, start. Well, there's a 7 up high. Uh, yeah. So this all happened. <laughs> no, because 18. So we had a good we had a run there, but. Uh, we'll go back to. I'm not sure what happened. Let's also check the 121. I'm curious if he has damage or not. Uh, Jonah definitely has damage, 100%. Hey, uh, I don't think so. Uh, run it back. Yeah, yeah. Run it back, Zach. Let's see what we can catch on the turf again. Because I don't see anything. I think he uh, had a little... I think he got... I think he... Let me see. I think he scraped it. Well, all right, so this is coming to the yellow. We'll go roof cam. Well, let's just see if we can just tell right here if he does. Yeah, that was... Yeah, let's go. That was a crazy here, save if he doesn't. We'll go helicopter that way we can get a better idea. Yeah, this is hard with the camera. We're trying our best. Let's see. Bird got damaged right there. Bang. Yeah, that, that's how Nothing. we avoided it. Oh, he, he went right through it. Yeah, Bird, Bird got, Bird got uh, hood damage right on the radiator section. That's, oh, that's that might get, be why he slowed down. That, that's a DNF. He's not. Yeah, he's gonna yeah Bird's done. Let's do. That's going yeah. to gonna, that's gonna guarantee yeah. Joy Paints the points lead at this point. Yeah. Joy Paints, or, well, unless someone else comes up, I don't think so. I mean, if Joy Paints the DNF, one, well, then that's a different story. Ordy is the only one who stayed out, so it's going to be crazy long. Race. Holy crap. Um, it's still holding up, guys. Yeah, so a ton of guys out of this race. So this race is going to maybe we could see some guys that didn't finish the race end up getting points for top 10 finishing. I mean, we only we literally got like maybe you know, very few cars left in this race. Very, very few. Uh, third likes the gaming, though, is your leader getting the points banked in for laps led. As of and, coming down. Yeah, he's uh, the only one still in there. So still got the 22 and the 42 on the clock, too. So. It's not over after that. We'll see if pace cars down. Right, That's yeah. it. We are, we have hit halfway. And how many cars we got left? Not a lot. Fifteen, maybe. Uh, maybe maybe fifteen. Uh, let's see, 14. fourteen cars. It is literally survival to finish. Uh, cue that Eminem Eminem song. This is survival because this is really survival. What, what can the gaming do in the uh, DraftKings number twenty Camaro at this point? <laughs> We've seen everyone hit that ch that hot seat, and no one's executed it correctly. Maybe he'll mm -hmm. be the first, but at this point, yeah. I would not pank on it. Um, well, definitely, uh, we know for the future, probably going to change the weather a little, slash maybe lower the difficulty for the fall race. This is definitely a bust. You got to uh, think, too. You got to think, too, real quick, Zach, not to cut you off. If you're this crew chief, bring it home. Forget if, if you're someone way back in the points, bring it home. The only person at this point who really wants to see another caution would be maybe someone like Joy Paints, because that could eliminate some more people. But if you're uh, you're a top five, just bring it home. But knowing how these restarts are, really this race is determined by restarts and odd restart violations, which we'll have to fix when we get to the finale for sure. And again, uh, it's at the point now. If you finish this race, huge points day. There's so many cars out of the race yeah. that aren't going to get much more than one point or some guys that uh, they got lucky, let a few laps, but 
Really, it's if you finish this race, <laughs> not even win, like heck, man, all of them might finish I, top ten. I mean, everyone I mean, in this field right now has a really. We're only halfway field. through this race, and half the field's gone. Already. Like, this is insane. Okay, hey, we're we're getting those setups after trial and error. We'll get them setups perfect. Looks like the twenty's going to control this field back to this restart, Vince. I'll take it from here, buddy. It's going to be gaming, as I like to say. Out front, in the hot seat, we're going to hit that rainbow restart zone for what will be the sixth time. Does he accelerate early? Does he go late? He goes in the middle, and that's actually a jump start by Thrasher. I don't think so. Well, Oh, it's yeah. close. That, we'll have to review that one. Even launch. Yeah. I think Thrasher just timed that perfectly, actually. That's like one of those 0 0.01 reactions. Yeah. Congrats. There's still a few cars in the field. We'll just slide. Yeah, 42 looks like it's going to fall to the DQ. Oh, I'm three wide. We, we talked about this. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that internally later. Back to the broadcast here. Jonah Burns looking pretty strong on that inside Paulus as well, who got the damage, but seems to not be affecting him. 42 will be out of this race. Now let's see if we have that crazy checkup. Yeah, that happened because someone's going to pit road. We'll see here if it happens again. Oh, okay, it did. 17. 17. This is the second time. Then, no oh boy. We're going to have to DQ the 17. He keeps coming down pit road. 17 has a. I think he has a mechanical problem, and I think they're trying to do the old pitch strategy, and it's not working. Uh, 91, well, okay. Uh, 97. We'll keep an eye on him. We'll keep an eye on him. I don't think that's his fault. I think he got shoved down there. I don't think he can do much there. No, they, they shoved. They checked up the field and went down there. If they're causing oh. issues, here, we'll keep an eye on him. Daniel, oh. <laughs> teammates 1 2 right now. Well, let's look at Joy Paints in third. Th Thrasher's in fourth, who made a perfect restart. There's Paints right there looking for Crazy that. Crazy top five right now. Paints looking for the lead. We can Paints win three out of the first six races. That's an interesting story. That, that's it's definitely going to be something to watch. And it looks like the field is now getting to the point where Spread Out City is here. Is the ninety-seven off pit road? Whoa, right. that was close off turn four. Ninety-seven is off. Uh, uh, if he uh, causes issues, if he comes down again, we're going to have to DQ. Uh, we we DQ'd the seventeen already for sure. Okay, let's go. Ahead, yeah. Yeah, I think the 97's off pace, guys. No, he he uh he pits this he time. Got, he might have got shoved down there. I don't think that's his. Yeah, he's going. You, again. you don't think any damage? You think he got pushed if down? He, but if he comes down, then yeah, it's his fault. Yeah, he's done. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, why these guys keep coming to pit road again. It's it's fresh track, a lot of kinks. 17's done, right? Yeah, 17 in. Well, he's still on the track, but uh, he'll he'll come in here. Yeah, he's done. All right, let's go back to Jonah Burge up front then. All right. Hopefully we all our issues fixed. But I all think, right, I think everything's last track too. I think we got twelve cards. Jo Joy Paints, Jonah Burge, Thrasher. That's your top three with Shangle and four. I think those four seem to have the best. I'll also throw in Paulus, who's been up there as well, even with a little damage. I think Paulus can't lead the race, but he can make a last lap move. Tire yeah. wear at this point is not the problem. I think there's just not enough drafting. Distance to where the tire, the 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 speed and the tire, the lap times are going to fall off dramatically. Yeah. yeah, some of these guys used up more tires than others, and until they don't got damage, so that they've that they're, it's going to be really spread out. We, again, yeah, man, it's going to be a real long video. Uh, I, but, think, uh, I think that Dark yeah. Rain actually might be losing the pack. With we saw Dark Rain get involved in that second caution. I think he's starting to lose it because okay. they're going two forty. He he's going two thirty six. The Lexa doesn't have damage. Yeah, I think these three guys might have lost a draft here. It well, lost a draft. draft. Thing, you know. this is oh, draft yeah. Thing. He's worth a DQ, but uh, keep an eye on him. We'll have to see if they if they start losing more than a second of lap. It's, it's getting close. more than a second lap, and we're going to... I was not he, expecting these to fall, fall off. I'll say that much. All right, let's get back to the main action now. It's going to be a little different race. Joy Paints leads. We talked about this. What do you do here if you're Roach? I mean, what do you do? You got really no drafting. You got to somehow set up a run. Let's see where you can set up a run. I mean, we know that bottom inside lane is really good. You see him closing up. I bet you right now he's just trying to time a run for that last lap. You're into the restart zone now. 
can see what he does here in one. Yep, there's the move on the inside. I think he's going to complete the pass, but Paints is going to do oh, an arrow paint. block. Don't come down, Paints. Oh, it's a smart move. It's an arrow block. You want to do something like that. Now you got a little help with Thrasher. Where does Thrasher go? He goes to the inside. Paints should follow the line in third, and now the race will be on. That's something to yeah. watch with three to go. Yeah, Vincent. Look who's in fourth place right now. The 3 The guy that I was talking Nelson. about earlier, Brandon, in practice, he was really fast. But look at him. He's in fourth, and he's in contention to win if he isn't going to wreck here. I don't know right now if there's Jonah Bird. We talked about how strong Burridge is. Paints goes up high. Someone who we haven't talked about tonight as, oh, is Daniel Paulus starting to fall off? He's, uh... That, that's not 50 cent. That actually might be damage. I think it's starting to come it's, into play. We'll keep, again, we'll keep an eye on them. They're not losing a whole lot right now. If they start becoming an issue, we'll keep an eye on them. The leaders are running 49-6. They're running 51-2s. I mean, they, they're still within the range. Let's see, what's the 20 up to? Because he's the guy back here with no damage. 51.05. He's faster than Paulus, so that's that's a yeah. good sight. Paulus is, yeah, he's it's late in the run. We'll keep an eye on him. As long as they don't get the 30 seconds back with like 10 to go. If they start getting a 30 seconds back, they're going to affect this race. All right. So 36 back, 10 to go. It's our limit. Okay, yeah, 30, we'll, keep 30, we'll keep an eye on it. Right now, I think, I think that. God, this is yeah. such a hard race to call professionally here, guys, because, oh, paint's back there nearly wreck. I think at this point, you start side drafting people, you're going to lose the pack. You got to figure this out. You, you can't you can't be side. Look at this. See, paint has already lost two seconds. Yeah, draft I think is this huge. side draft has gone wrong, and you can't really use that outside line. You got to stay inside line, shortest distance around. That's just typical physics, as you can see, Shang lost too. Yeah, it's going to come down to who's got a faster car once all these drafts figure out. Maybe who doesn't use up too much tires. Yeah, it's an arrow. It's an arrow game. What's your setup, right? At this point, if you had a long run car, you're probably going to be fine tuned. If you had a short run car, it's probably game over. So I think Toledo, someone like him, even even this group right here, they're starting to lose. The top three are just so close together. As long as they don't make a move, well, so much for that. Roach made the move, but. And Burns makes a move. Ah, thrash. I mean, if these guys, if they were smart, you can lose. You can lose uh, a second if you if you start making moves like this. This is going to help the second pack for sure. Yeah, not much of a pack though. It's really strung out, and these guys are going to be a lot faster than those other guys because everyone's separated at this point. So this, these three cars are going to be. They're definitely going to be here for the finish. You can see the lap times have picked up almost a second just because they're tight in the pack. And it's almost becoming like a Tour de France Peloton race where the Peloton is breaking away and Toledo is the chasing pack all yeah, alone. He has no... Yeah. It's going to take, take a lot of mistakes from these guys for him to catch up. Oh, they, they're going to start getting there. He's going to start... If they keep battling like this and 5th and 6th and start closing the gap. Looks like they are closing it a little bit. Oh, yeah. they're. Gonna, I think that if they all work together, they're going to be there. They can still do this. I think the top three are just playing too many games. The guys back there gaming. Oh, Paulus is not even in the top ten. What happened? Uh, he's. Uh, that's true. He's not in the top ten no more. He might have. He was there briefly when I looked there a second ago. He's He's off the pace. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, guys. I, I can't keep it going. Yeah, we just got a report. He can't keep it going. That's going to That's gonna do it over the radio. I have to do it to the fifty-one too. The other fifty-one also is uh, yeah. Can't keep it. I think I think gaming got affected by that in dark rain. They're gonna be all right. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm still here broadcasting. <laughs> yeah, unfortunate day for a lot of these guys. I mean, we're we're talking well, at this point. We have now hit a a season low in finishers about nine, and we may not be done. <laughs> it might be. You never know. It could be a caution. Put the fifty-one on the clock. He. Might be he gained a little time, though. I think it's just Paulus is, is done for the day. Yeah, yeah I, I think it's from the damage, guys. Yeah, unfortunate. Unfortunate. Six, uh, 59. Yeah, it's a good run there. Yeah, it's starting to spread out. The fastest amongst them are starting to show tire wear and all that stuff. Yeah, you got to think about it at this point, too. We're getting into the point where a point of no return. The runs are effectively gone. And at this point, if you just don't make a mistake, 
Thrasher's case, Roach's case, you're probably going to be one of the two or three to sell it because Bird is yeah. losing the pack now. Yep. Well, he's catching up. He's catching him. Nah, that second pack, I think I think they're they're losing time. Are they battling each other? Oh no, I'm talking about sixty six. Yeah, sixty six is sixty six uh, got a huge run in the corner. The front. Yeah, sixty six got a huge run off the corner, but unfortunately got too tight for him and he went up the track. All right, let's just make sure we still have ten to go in this race, ten cars remaining. That is correct. We have ten cars remaining. Uh, this oh, is man. this has become a survival of the fittest, and it's just hard. But we're going to commentate it like this. What do you do here if you're Roach? You're in the position of you're going to get a top two because I think Burge has lost the pace. He might have. Yeah, yeah I mean, if if I was he's, Roach, he's, he's done. He's done. I think at this point, if you're these top two, you stay close together. I mean, that's not what you want to do is go high. You stay stay locked in like a tandem. No one's going to catch it. I mean, you, at this point, I think two cars is the limit. Yeah, they're, they're too far spread out. Unless we start turning this into a similar, like a Chicago land race, because we do have a curved back stretch, and you just get, you basically can have a, a breakaway of one, but I don't know about that. 51 yeah. is way off the pace now, 10 seconds back. Yeah, he is. But, but because there's only bit. 17 laps, and that's about a second fall off, we wouldn't have enough time to catch. I think the Yuko, Yuko is fine. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. Yeah, we'll Starts do that. losing two or three seconds. Yeah, you see Jonah Burge has no help. He's probably going to lose another half a second. Yep, exactly. Roach, a half yeah. a second. Yeah, and again, yeah, as these guys up here are drafting. They're pulling away from the field, so these guys are going to lose even more time. Actually, you know what? I think Paints might get a podium here. Because Paints is working with Shangle, and I think they're going to catch Jonah Burge. Burge has no help. Where's Shangle? See, I think they quit working. No, they're still kind of. No, they're still working. That's, oh, yeah, they're close. Sh Sh Shangle and Paint have the right strategy. I think Jonah Bird's going to get caught. Oh, yeah, he's going to get caught. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, he's going to get caught. They keep. Time, but... Yeah, if they keep they... drafting like this, they're going to catch him. And it's just it's just a part of the, the, the game here. I mean, you, you, you need to have help when we get smaller numbers, but. Oh, yeah, well, they're, I mean, they're, they're pushing in the corner. I think Paints and them, nah, never mind, they started to break away, but they'll still catch. But here's the thing, Vince. If those two work together and hook up with the Jonah Burger, maybe all three of them could get the front two, but I don't think they're going to have enough time. Well, Shankle just took a massive move up front. So that's a move by Paints, a veteran move right there. Say, hey, listen, you have a better car right now. Oh, yeah. You know what? That's that inside, that inside lane has so much grip. It's almost like you you need to stay down there. You start on the outside, you lose time. Look, look how much time paints a lot. It's almost like you could run this like a mile and a half. Yeah, paints lost too much time, but now the problem is they've just spread themselves even more. The top two are getting away. Burge is catching up to the top two, yeah. but it doesn't. But not by much. He's lost half a second. Yeah, no way. You never know until it's over. As you see, 66 on the inside there. He's going to take the lead. Roach, yeah. Just watching this. Just trying to watch what, watch what's a better move for Thrasher. I feel like Roach has the better car out front. Thrasher can stay close up. But I think it's going to come down to Zach. Whoever is on the last lap takes that crazy inside lane, just gets six tenths on the next person. Might be That's it. what it's going to come down to. Who has the balls to go to the inside lane for sure? He's got the he's got the tires. He's got the engine. Oh, there's fifty nine on the inside yeah. road. He's going to try to take the lead back. Watch this run, though. Watch this run by Thrasher. Look at this. He's cutting off so he's almost cutting off about a half a mile of the track by going that extreme inside lane. I bet she's about five tenths ahead. Half a second. Watch. As they start to, Yep, he's about a half a second ahead. That's the move. I think whoever makes that move on the last lap is going to win this race. Or two to go, maybe even. Maybe two to go. Yeah, I think I think I think that's the game you gotta play. You gotta almost time it like a horse race. Yep. Again, who's got the fastest you gotta time car, it perfectly. the better better movements around the track? Combination. 
Because Thrasher has, it seems like, the better arrow, but Roach, you can see, closes up quick with better engine power. I think you want to have the better arrow, though. There is half a second, just like it called it. Now, those guys in the back are starting to catch up each other. Paints has lost the draft. Eh, boy, oh boy. I don't, I don't know about Roach making an outside move. Yep, Shang Shangle, man. I think if he had, he probably saved his tires. He just doesn't have enough time to get there. I'm draft, too. No draft, no time. I don't think it's going to work. That There's going to be no more DQs. Everyone's going to finish this race. Yep, unless something out of, out of proportion happens, which is <laughs> I'm not going to jinx it, so. That's, that's. Don't know until it's over. Never know. It ain't over till it's over, but right now, I think at this point, if you're Roach, if you're Thrasher play cool. There's there is literally nothing and, else you can do. Yeah, and the one thing I want to talk about is the 66. I mean, he's using the top lane. He's getting good enough runs down the front back stretch. If he can stay in the draft, I think he's got a chance. But on the last lap, if he catches him, I'm gonna want to make that inside move and take the lead away from Thrasher here to get that victory. All of a sudden. Shangle and Burge have just cut six tenths off that lead. Talking All of a sudden, I think they're starting. They're they're going too high on the racetrack. I, I think this is what's affecting them. Yeah, Th these guys are starting to run lower. Those guys are running higher. They they could make a, a massive run here if they start. Now, now Thrasher is, but Roach is too high. It's giving them. It's almost like giving them a new life with the draft. Yeah, could be a working combination. Burridge and Shangle, we'll see. Oh, you know, yeah. Look how close he catches him, though. Uh, not a huge no, game it's here. only a 100. That's not really a game. They have to go low. They got to go extreme low. This is almost like an intermediate race now. It's like a hybrid package we have here where. What do you do? I mean, you can't really go high because you know that you're just going to lose time. You, you add more distance on the tires. And if you go too low, sometimes you don't have the momentum on the straightaways. So you have to almost time the momentum on the straightaways to where you pull back on the brakes. Trail bike a little bit, then start getting a slip curve, and then it's just it just. What happens if we try to enter high but then exit low? Would, do you think they could catch them that way? Well, at this point now, you got to think if you do that, it, it's slide jobbing in a way, and, and the only way to slide job right now, if you're Roach, you wait till two to go. They're they're, they're two car tandem back there, but they're probably only going to gain maybe a half a tenth. They lost some. Oh, no, they gained time. It was 2.8 to 2.3. Oh, wait, yeah. They, did too high again, they gained half a second. They keep gaining a half a second. We'll have a four-car battle. And if we have a four-car four battle and they really dice it up, let's say they get there with five to go, Paints can make up a second a lap, and we could have a five-car battle. But yeah. it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a lot yeah. for those guys. They have to continue to streak low and ha hope these guys continue to ma make mistakes on the line. It's almost like a line sensitivity game. Roach goes a little yeah. higher. Thrasher goes high. Roach goes lower. It's going to help the second pack with drag. It's going to definitely help the second pack with drag for sure. Look at this run that 66 is going to have. 66 and 21. You know what? They might have evened on this one, though. I don't think they're going to gain much. Gain some. Some? Two and a half tenths, but that's not half a second. So they, 66 they have is lost. there. For the lead. I think this is just going to help create that second pack with the drag. It's going to come down to these four. I think I think these two are playing too much of a game. Where's Burge? Oh, yeah. They're still relatively close. Yeah, they keep playing the game. They're, they can get underneath two seconds. It's, it's possible. It's definitely possible. It's not going to be guaranteed, but it's possible they can make the move. Might be. This 121 might be sniffing that draft. We'll have to see. You start sniffing it, that will make the closing rate a little quicker, but they started to tuck back in line. And uh, Barney, we've seen him last time he was behind that 66. They stayed together like butter. Yeah, that's going to... I think they just created a, a nice gap and they're going to increase the gap. Yep. Yes. It's going to it's gonna fluctuate. If you stay, oh, man. If you stay tucked in, if you stay tucked in, you can gain a half a second. You don't, you can lose a half. Are they tucked in in third and fourth? Let's see. Let's see. I so think they it's going to be a battle between these students. They're tucked in. No, let's see. It's not over yet. They're, they stay tucked in. It's about staying tucked in to Cartanum. see if they got time. Oh, 64 got too much of a run. Not too oh, much of a run. You see, you yeah, got almost time. It. That's it. That's they do, it. Did the 59 and 66 stay tucked together on that straightaway? Yep. Yes, that's it. I think that might be it. Cause, yeah, that's it. 
They, no least matter what. They, it's, they're, oh, even if they make that move, I don't think it's going to matter because they're still uh, set side by side back there. Almost 59 goes way high this time, but holy crap, he did it. Wow, I mean, I did that. That's just that's just uncalled for by the spotter. You're, you're giving these guys you're, you're giving these guys a chance. You don't want them to sniff anything. If I'm, they, they can sniff it two seconds back, two and a half. They're starting to get a little little hit on the straights. That's where you don't want to be. Two and a half. Yeah, yeah they're they're at three now. I think they're going to gain about a half a second because of that stupidity. I, I guarantee you. That one move just gained them a half a second, and they're just unless they're pace management, I would not want to give them a chance. Yeah, yeah. I think when the sixty-four went high, that really ended it. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I don't know about that. I, th I, I whoa, they're there. Whoa, okay. They whoa. just gained a half a second. Whoa, they gained a lot of a second. Boy, oh. I, I mean, it's really too hard to predict right now. It's too early. It's still too early. Six to go. I they gained a half a second. Uh, was it four point seven, right? Yeah, the three point two. I think it was. I think it was three point nine. Okay, well then they gained seven. They're there. They, they, once again, this is this is why if you're Roach and Thrasher, stay tucked in, and let's set up like gentlemen with two to go. No, no well then that they now nah, yeah, they just cost themselves. Too tight in the corner. And can't he did it again. Yeah, well, that's, the two, that's your two seconds of tire we're talking now. The tires are shot. I mean, you're, you're to, unless we get a fuel strategy race here, tires are toast. Still hooked together, though, again there. I don't. I think they lost time. No? Three they seconds. Get, wow, they've gained a second in one lap. Now, in two laps, I, I just don't have enough time, though. They have to gain. Wow. Uh, no, that's oh, it. Yeah. 64 is too high. He's yeah, don't, he cannot be doing that. Tires are just shot. They can't hold it. It's, it's going to come down to, I think, Roach. and I, Honestly, I think Thrasher's going to have the perfect position to make the move two to go. Here comes Roach down the backstretch with four to go, or five to go coming to four to go. What do you do here? Do you start playing arrow games? Do you block the real extreme inside lane? We'll find out. I'd be Thank honest you. with you. If I was in the 66, I would just let Thrasher go in front of me, and then if I can stay with him in that draft, I would go to the inside again and pass him for the lead on the white flag. That's what I would do. White flag mm -hmm. might be too late, though. We'll see who plays the game. Thrash is going to go there early. Four to go. It's going to go early. I think that's a good move because you can you can try with two to go again. Smart by the 66 arrow block. Let them go. You know, why why rush it? Uh, Burridge and them gain only two and a half ten. That's not enough. That's just not enough. There's just not enough time. They have to gain a second, at least a half a second right here, right now. And it's just not going to happen. Man, they put up a good fight, though. It's going to be a good points day for those two once they finish. Joy Paints, though. How about that fifth place? I think is isn't a clear fit. Just Yeah, that's going to be a huge points lead for that 77 after this series. Great move. And like I said, it's it's not so much the, the points lead and the wins. It's just about being consistent when, when you already have a win. The big, Oh! Out of gas. Oh, now oh, this man. changes everything. All right. Now, what what about the 59? Is he going to be all gas, too? Uh, he's it? probably going to be... I, he pushed it too far. 21 in the 60, 21 64. They good. All right. It's I mean, imagine good. if Thrasher loses fuel on the last lap. 64. No, he said no. he's dead. Where's the 77? 66. The, the road racing teammates couldn't do it. 77 has been alone. That's probably the best strategy. Save fuel. Yeah, Joy's already round. So this chain, like you said, he's by himself. And so is Jonah, though. Oh, Barty's coming down. See, I, I don't, I don't know. I think he pushed it too far, gents. I, I think I, he's slowing down, guys. Right, no, nah, he's good here. I, I, I think it's going to be the next lap now, unless Jonah pushed it too. He was in a pack too. Yeah, Jonah, he pushed it too hard. Ah, uh, he's, he's done. done. He's done. Man, he's still top <laughs> oh, man. Guys. Where's Joy Paints? Paints? Joy Paint. Yeah. Oh, we got someone else coming down. That's the twenty-four <laughs> dark green, bro. This is getting interesting. Splash and dashes. What do you do if you're Thrasher? Joy Paints, who lagged back eight seconds, was out of the trap. If Thrasher comes down, might win this race. What a strategy call if that happens. All right. They got yeah, you know, to make it through this last lap, too. 
We will, I, I don't believe we'll have lap traffic, but I, okay. <laughs> there's no lap traffic. It's set sailing from here. You just want to save your fuel. And does Barty yeah, Crasher come in, or does he actually play it safe by lagging back with three to go? Let's see. He I don't know. We're about to find out. He's he staying safe. Comes. White flag. One lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank here at Cardland Super Speedway. Uh, wrong car. Hey, Joy, she played it good. What a strategy by Joy Payne. But Barney Thrasher, can he make it home on the last lap? As <laughs> so we go to the... I'll take it from here since there's only one car to bring home. Barney Thrasher had an incident in practice. Avoided it at all. Came back. Had a mishap to Rex. Stayed out of trouble on the last four to go. Let, made the move. Forced Roach up high, used more distance, stayed low, and figured out how to create less distance and more time and efficiency. Coming out of turn four, it's going to be Barney Thrasher looking for his first win on the season, that 59 Ford Mustang. As he enters the last time it's that restart zone, it's going to be Barney Thrasher lighting the candles here at Cars Land Super Speedway. Joy paints with an incredible P2, playing it conservative. And for the podium, how about this? LJ Toledo who also played a conservative. The guys in the back who played conservative are all going to get a top five. Think about the 51 to a 20. We're about to get DQ'd. Top five. What a move. Yeah, especially uh, in Jonah, the, not a good pit stop there. That would uh, cost him a bunch better finish, but uh, good good points there for him nonetheless. Yeah, you, what, what can you say, man? That's just, that's just, that's just pure racing right there. I mean, that's just yep. pure old school racing. The crew chiefs have to be applauded. Let's go to John. Let's go to Joy, Joy Paints and Thrasher. Let's, let's spotlight those two cars. I mean, that's just, just that's just how you win a points championship. I mean, you got to think this could be something. Now we'll have changes, but this is the season finale. We'll have to watch this as the finale goes on. When we get there in race forty. But congratulations to Barney Thrasher. What a win! Final thoughts, guys, in this crazy race where we saw basically 30, 40, 36 cars DQ or crash out. Only three or four cars made it on fuel. Daniel. Yeah, so what I saw during this race is, like I said in the beginning of the race, your keys are to stay out of the big ones, not get damaged. If you get damaged, you're basically done for the night. Second off, it comes down the strategy at the end that we just saw, and we knew the tires were going to be an issue towards the end of the race. And fuel, as you saw, towards the end of the race. But he stuck it out. Joy Paint stuck it out. And so did the leader. So congratulations to them on completing this heroic super speedway tonight. But it all came down to strategy and staying out of the big one tonight. Yeah, multiple big ones. Zach, real quick before we sign off. Yeah, that race was a lot longer than I was anticipating. Uh, again, lost fix fixed setup. But yeah, overall... Uh, too many guys wrecked out, and it really left it to a, it really just a string of guys who had the better cars, who had the better track position. In the end, the car with the best track, one of the best, better track positions, better fuel strategies, and overall, uh, better car, I guess you could say, uh, came out on top. Uh, Roach, uh, he got seventh, so uh, it just goes to show. Yeah, congratulations. Once again, to Barney Thrasher and Joy Paints for bringing home a top two and playing this fuel strategy right. For Zach, for Daniel, we're going to see you guys next week in race seven. Not sure who will be in the booth, but it will be a great time. And one last time from Carsland Super Speedway, this is Vince Freeze, and we are signing off.